Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering magazine. Suppose I give you about 20 to 30 images of the same object, or the same person as the case may be. Do you think you'll be able to generate a cluster of points that define the subject? Well, actually you can. Let me show you how to do it using Photo Scene Editor, a free downloadable technology preview from Autodesk Labs. So what I've got here is about a dozen photos of a pair of sunglasses taken from slightly different angles. You know, there's nothing special about the camera that I just use. It's just a standard Canon power shot I bought for 250s from Radio Shack. Now I'm going to launch Photo Scene Editor, which I've installed on my machine. To construct a scene, you need to upload a bunch of reference photos, source photos. At this point, you are in fact harnessing the power of cloud computing. In other words, using the processing power of a CPU server farm hosted somewhere else to analyze the pixels in your photos, to identify similar points and shapes, then to calculate the camera positions of the shots. Now when the scene is done, you get this nice panoramic environment here. It's a 3D scene constructed from your reference photos. You can now inspect your object, in this case, the pair of sunglasses in three-dimensional environment from any chosen angle or any vantage point. This may be just fun and game, good for amusement, for things that involve straightforward geometry that you feel you can easily recreate in a computer program if you want a 3D model. But imagine being able to construct a digital 3D model of a complicated item like this ancient Chinese warrior. So, what else can you do now that you've got a 3D model? Well, you can identify specific points. As you do, you'll see that the software is also identifying the same point that appears in associated photos. You can also enter a reference distance. It gives you a pretty good way to extrapolate other distances based on what you know about the dimension of a particular object. So think about being able to measure an oversized machine or the curvature of a building's rooftop from just a bunch of photos that you take, for example, and being able to create a 3D model of that without going to the field, without using any survey equipment. There's more you can do. You can export the scenes as a DWG file, as points and lines. I'm now firing up Autodesk Inventor, and I'm importing the points saved in the DWG file from Photo Scene Editor into a 3D sketching environment. Now, here's what I've got ready for me to start creating splines and curves instantly. So, if your client wants to send you a bunch of reference photos and ask you to create a CAD model, this method gives you a pretty good way to start working on developing the three-dimensional model. During my recent visit to the Autodesk Gallery in San Francisco, Autodesk Labs VP Brian Matthews volunteered to be my photographer. So yes, yours truly, that's me, as a 3D digital prototype and photo scene editor. You know, I've always wanted to adjust the dimension of my forehead to see if I can fit more data into my cranium. So let me work on that in Inventor. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, reporting from somewhere in Point Cloud.